I'm so sorry. For everything. about your mother marrying a sleaze bag like George. Because everything's going to plan. Could have filmed me. Well, you're just going to have to trust me. Right? Hey, what are you up to? Tell me. Oh! How did you get in? Oh, I just happened to arrive at the same time as Sadie. She's downstairs setting up. Great. Well, she can sort out the delivery. Um, you fancy a bacon sandwich? Oh, no, I couldn't. I don't know how you could eat. I'm not the one getting married tomorrow. <clears throat> so what can we do for you? Oh, you know, I just thought I'd check on you both. See if you've got everything for tomorrow. Our uh, suit's all pressed and ready. Good, good. And how about you? Me? Oh, I'm fine. Great. Mm. You wearing something nice? Don't worry, I won't embarrass you. I'll be on my best behaviour. I never thought you would. Will Roy be coming to the ceremony? Roy? Why would Roy be coming? Sure, partner, of course. Haven't you asked him? I well, know. But I've got him on the seat and plan. I was sure you'd want him to come. Yeah, well, she's not that desperate, is she? Oh, that's really kind of you. I'm asking Ben. I'm sure he'd love to be there. With that. Oh dear. Sorry, Dan. You wouldn't be annoyed that Roy's invited to the wedding, would you? Why should I care? It's not my wedding, is it? Oh, it's the yes. Excuse me. Hey, I'll watch out for him if I were here. For what I've seen, he's just like his old man, his old man. No, really. And will that be the same old man that's just married your mum? But I mean it. Jill. Well, I'm not interested. Now take your hand off me. Not until you listen to me. Well, what do you think you're doing? I'm having a word with my wife. Do you mind? Oh, come on, Pete. Even you can't be deluded enough to think you can still control her life. I love you. Why are you stay this? Just let this stuff get on with the work, OK? No one wants a word. All done. You say goodbye to Yasmin for me. Are you only going to see yourself? No, I think it's better if I just go. Look, wait. I want to talk to you. There's something I need to say. That should be great. I knew I loved Declan. Yeah? Yeah, he said we could stay as long as we like. We don't have to stay if you don't want to. I know you said you'd like to see some of Ireland, so we can travel around a bit if you like. Right, yeah, that would be good. Did I tell you you look lovely? Yes, you did. Three times now. Well, it's better to be safe than sorry, isn't it? I'll be back in a minute. Don't be long. So how long do you think this is going to last, right? I'll give it a week, Max. You just can't stand seeing things go right for someone else, can you, Pete? And why would I be worried about that? Everything's coming together for me. I've got a beautiful summer I'm seeing them often I've got another successful business that's about to fall into my lap yeah it's just a pity you're not to share it with isn't it all in good time in your dreams Pete because everyone leaves you in the end don't they you're scum Pete. your mum's always known it Siobhan's finally seen the light and given time Diane will too no well, the only thing Diane's gonna see is what a loser well that just shows how much you really know about her doesn't it Oh, and you think you know, I am. Well, I bet she hasn't told you half of what she's done, mate. Really? Yeah, yeah, really. So come on, then. Like what? You won't like it. 
you got something to say, Pete, just come out and say it. Otherwise, why don't you just go away and ruin someone else's evening? All right. Why do you think Diane hates George so much? You don't know, do you? Well, let's just say there's more going on there than meets the eye. Shall we? It's not that I want you to go. You just don't want me to stay. I'm finding it difficult letting you back into my life. But it's all right, I understand. I mean, I've got a lot of history. You can't just leave it behind. I have tried. Like I said, it's cool. Get up, look, wait. I haven't finished. What? Well? OK. You make me feel bad about myself. When you're around, it acts as a reminder of what I did to you. You shot me to the police. I know. You had to. No, I didn't have to. I, I did it because I didn't know what else to do. I'm sorry. You know, I blamed you for a long time. But then I came to realize that it's all part of the whole drugs thing. You always look for someone else to blame. I don't need to do that anymore. When you turned up, I just thought, oh, nothing would have changed. Same old Ziggy. I just wait till you screwed up. You're not the same Ziggy, are you? You know, I wouldn't have agreed to letting you stay if it wasn't for Yasmin. But now I want you to stay. What? Not for Yasmin, not for anyone else, but for me. I want you to stick around, please. You really are sick. Do you know that? At your own wedding. So it gives it that excitement, isn't it? That indefinable spark. Is that enough of a spark for you? Congratulations. Looks like you were right after all. You two are as bad as each other. I thought you were supposed to be protecting me. Well, thanks for nothing. Just the man. I think you and I should have a little chat. Hi. Hi. Apparently Carl said you were around. Right. Were you going to say goodbye to me? He doesn't need to anymore, does he? I decided to stay. Oh, yes, come here. <laughs> oh! <laughs> right, well, I'll get the drinks in here, shall I? Yeah, yeah, right. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I need to do it. What happened? Nothing, really. Just uh, had a bit of a chat, sorted yeah. a few things out. So what, everything's all right between you two now? Mm, I'll let you know. <laughs> <laughs> What's all that about, then? Oh, I decided to stay. Oh, cool. What made you change your mind? Eh? Well, Charnham's not exactly the excitement capital of the world, is it? I don't know. It has its moments. Yeah, if you say so. Right. I'm in the middle of my wedding reception here, so whatever it is, make it quick. What is it you wanted to discuss? Well, how about Diane, for starters? Oh, come on, Pete. Surely I don't have to explain myself to you. We're both men of the world, aren't we? Are we? Of course we are. I recognised a kindred spirit the first time I clapped eyes on you. I'm sorry. What's this? Wedding photos. I call it a late present, if you like. From one man of the world, to another. I commission, especially. <laughs> I know you like him. Brings out your best side, I thought. And Claire's. Maybe I should get an extra set of prints done for, for Joe. Oh, no, no, that would be silly, wouldn't it? I mean, then you wouldn't be able to get your hands on her 30%, would you? What do you want? hands of my sister. More from Charnam tomorrow. Know. Don't waste my time. Why'd you call it? Me, I didn't. You did. What? Joan told me you called a meeting of the Kerrick shareholders. Did she now? Well, she told me you'd contacted her with the same message. There she is. Let's go and find out what it's all about. Joan? 